This is Thomas WR Stories and more and today I'm going to be doing another story set video based on the episode Peace and Quiet. This is requested by the user Stephen Patton 3411 so I'll link his channel in the description below. So he requested this whole this set based on the episode that I already just mentioned earlier Peace and Quiet and I decided to make this an intermediate set and also include a lot of accessories and and small destinations for for the value that you're, that you're gonna pay back in the day if learning throughout what I released it. So we're gonna get started now. So we're gonna start on on the center, the center piece right here. Honestly, it, this is my custom. This is my custom shed. This was to represent an after shed or just or just a shed that fits more engines in general. You can make the scene where Murdoch obviously he wanted peace and quiet, and he told Harvey and Salty. There are a bunch of chatterboxes, and obviously he apologized later in in the episode, which I thought would be really nice to add in. Or also, what I love to see is Learning Curve Cut also included two work sheds instead of this custom shed I made out of popsicle sticks and then the decals on the sides for the special engine shed, and then the black duct tape for the roof, and then the lights obviously. You could you could fit you could fit a lot of engines in the back. I made sure you could fit the flying Scotsman and a lot of cargo if you really wanted to. Then we go we go down this line on the right, we're gonna start on the right. We got some curb tracks and adapter. Then we got a small switch track. And I thought to include the single stone tunnel because I could see in the episode Murdoch was seen going through Henry's tunnel. But obviously learning curve would have been too generous to include Henry's tunnel because this is like a one of the Forgettable episodes in a way and then we keep going down this way. We got salty who was he was in one of the main characters in the episode We got curb tracks and then we go up to the sending track. We got some risers. Then we got the switch track and then we got the Curd viaduct the traction one I have Which I thought would be nice to add in Since this is an intermediate set or the deluxe set between around those areas then we got our ascending track. Then we have we have the two animals, sheep, or the cattle that's supposed to represent when they're making a lot of noise. And Murdoch was just fed up and just like realizing what the mistake he's done with calling Salty and Salty and Harvey chatterboxes. Then Murdoch, you can see Murdoch is pulling the goods train or like the long heavy heavy goods train. You see, honestly, I didn't know where my my other giggling troublesome trucks were from from the from the same time that these characters were released. But I did the gray face troublesome truck, and then my orange rickety, and then the baggage car, and then a milk tanker, and then a caboose. Because it's like a lot that learning curve would have done back in the day if, if Murdoch was playing a long heavy load. Then we got a I got the traction rail. Bumpy track decided to include it in this set as well. How I did for respect for Gordon, just to make the set more special and to expand layouts, just to make the playtime long lasting. Then we got a T switch, and then we got curb tracks, and then it and then it comes back down to the switch where it first started. Now we're gonna go to the center. We got Harvey right there, just just relaxing right there. I decided to not include rolling stock for the other engines because obviously. You could just give the running stock that Murdoch has and put them on the inner engines if you like. Then we got two two adapters. Then we got a T a V switch or a special engine switch track. Then we got the the T switch, and then we come back to the center now. We go on the left side now, and then we have some curb tracks, and some straight tracks, some adapters, then an ascending track that goes back up to the to the switch track on the outer loop where the viaduct is at. So now I'm going to be talking about what accessories you get in this set. So you can see we have three signals on different parts of the layout. So that would be nice to add in for the, for the size. So you can see the size almost takes up the time flavor, but not really. Because obviously I, I didn't use everything. This will fit like on... This takes up maybe like 70% of the playboard based on the size. So yeah, three signals on... Uh, different parts of the area 
and then a couple trees. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six trees on different parts of the area. I decided to include different types just to make the set more unique and just to bring the set to life with different different types of, of scenery. Then we got a stop sign. Just just include a sign in because on my other set reviews I didn't really include signs because they were not really necessary, at least in my opinion. And then we got two fence pieces from the grist mill with the water wheel. So that would be nice to add in just to give the set more decoration and more more life. Then we got the conductor from the episode where he says he can't do nothing about about stopping the sheep and he had to call for help from Toby. Oh yeah, and by the way, I didn't include Toby because it's already a lot of characters in, in the set of this size already. Three is enough. But these are unique and I know Toby Toby came out in the lift and load set and then he came out like individually packaged. And then we got the figures to top of hat. And then we got the I decided to include the the signal the signal tower building in the set of three buildings since it looked pretty nice. And yeah, this is the whole entire set, a piece of quiet. So again, shout out to Stefan Patron for for uh, one four eleven something like that. And just comment down below with more story sets you all like to like to see me review next. And I I read the other comments you guys left on the other videos, but those some of them have been taken. So just comment down below some that haven't been done yet. And again, shout out to Soda Productions and. Percy number six for starting the whole series of custom story sets. So I'll see you all in the next video.